inside the desperate battle against the Zika virus. Here at home, reports of 36 people contracting the disease in a dozen states, four of them pregnant women. But tonight, the urgent fight to stop the epidemic at its source. And that is where we find ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. Door to door here in Recife, Brazil, they're desperate to blunt the explosive growth of Zika. There's no vaccine, no treatment. All we know is mosquitoes carry it. So soldiers are scouring neighborhoods. There's a government requirement that every house in this area is visited at least once a month by the soldiers to look for any place a mosquito could breed. They are meticulous. He's even looking to see where the water drains out of the refrigerator, the condensation. That's all it would take for mosquitoes to breed. In these sprawling shanty towns, residents store fresh water in large, often neglected tanks with mosquito larvae like this. Soldiers sanitize each tank to kill the eggs. Hello. And at this clinic, we see firsthand why the stakes are so high. This is scary. We are dealing with a disease that we have no information about. These babies have microcephaly, abnormally small heads and brains. There are hundreds of cases here in Recife, more than 4,000 in Brazil. Scientists suspect they are directly connected to a Zika virus infection during pregnancy, but we don't know how. Health officials are bracing for more while mothers here struggle to plan an uncertain future for their babies. Until Zika virus is under control in Brazil and the other countries in which it's spreading, the CDC says it's far too dangerous for pregnant women to travel to those areas. They should stay home.